Hi, within this lecture, we're going to have our initial setup in order to create a backdoor that looks like an image. We need three things in order to achieve this. So first we need a backdoor and we have already created a backdoor in the previous section. Okay, we can just get it and use it. And we're going to need an image, okay, the image that we want to embed in the backdoor. And I believe we can find this easily by googling out an image. And finally, we need a tool in order to embed this image into the backdoor. I'm going to show you a tool to do that as well within this lecture. So let me go to Google and Google my target, okay? I'm just going to write my own name and I believe this target has an iOS course in the Udemy. If I click on images here, I can select one of them and use it in my attack. So select one of the images, it really doesn't matter and just download it in your Kali Linux. Okay, of course, if you're planning another strategy in your case, you may want to Google something relevant for your example as well. So let me try to download this by right clicking here, okay, and saying save as. So save image as something in my downloads folder. Okay, I'm going to name this iOS image. I'm going to save this. Okay, so we now have our image and we can reach it from the download section. And what I'm going to do next is to take this picture, take this image and embed in some of the backdoors that we have created before and try to make our backdoor look like this image. And as I said before, in order to do that, we need a tool, right? So there are a lot of tools out there doing that. If you Google something like embedding images into backdoors or combining images with backdoors, they will show you a lot of results. They will show you a lot of tutorials. And in fact, I did the same thing and I found out a tool that actually works. Of course, it, if it doesn't work for you, you can try other options as well. But I'm going to show you how to do that with a tool called Fake Image Exploiter. Okay, so I have the GitHub address in here. Don't worry, I'm going to share this address with you in the lecture resources. Okay, and you can, of course, just find this by writing fake image exploiter in Google as well. But I'm going to share you the URL, don't worry about it. So let me go to my Firefox and just try to open this web page. And since we are going to GitHub, guess what? We're going to use Git clone technique that we have seen before. So we already installed Git repositories on our Kali Linux. Now we can Git clone everything we want. And in here, when you scroll down, you will see the instructions for installing this as well. But we already know how to do that, right? We did it before. And I'm going to show you as well. So if you skip the previous sections, maybe you may want to go back to understand but don't worry, this is a very easy process. All you have to do is just copy the URL of the GitHub page and then run it with git clone on your command line. And of course you want to go to some folder. For example, we always use opt optional folder in order to install optional tools. And you may want to do that as well because this command will download everything on that specific folder. So before I run this git clone command, I'm going to cd into my opt folder. And remember we have to go to home cd dot dot and then cd opt. 
and then if I do ls, you will see fake image exploiter has been downloaded for me previously, but it really doesn't matter, I have other tools here as well, like wheel, metasploitit, and I will just run this git clone command, and it will give me a warning saying that this is already installed for you, but if you run this git clone followed by the URL, it will download the folder in your Kali Linux machine in the specified folder like we did before. If you got here, then it's better to stop because in the next lecture, we're going to discuss how to start this fake image exploiter and how to use it.